You remember your last day of high school? You remember that incomparable feeling of relief you had? That great sense of accomplishment? You were done, ready to get out and tackle the world? Well, my son Joel had his last day of high school the end of last week, and of course he's ecstatic about it. So we're going out fishing today to celebrate like we really need a reason to go fishing. But it's the beginning of the work week. Should not be too many people on the water. Conditions? I don't know. We'll see. All these flags that we've been passing on the way down are absolutely starched. So I think we got a lot of wind. I know we've got a, a good hard rising tide. That should definitely work in our favor. But we're gonna be fighting that wind all day. But hey, look, it's the spring of 2018. And if you're gonna fish this season, you're gonna be fishing in the wind. That's just how it's been. But I can't wait to get on the water. Hopefully we can put some fish in the boat to celebrate Joel's accomplishment. All right, so we may end up catching bass, redfish, flounder, who knows today, but right now, to start the day, we're gonna target speckled trout in these deep holes. We've got to this little bayou, water's moving really well, incoming tide, and we're seeing a lot of bait. So I'm definitely optimistic. Only negative working against us, got a little bit of wind, but this water's not the prettiest. It's not terrible, but it's, I've definitely fished in prettier. There's a fish, first cast, first cast, and the first hook up of the day. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a redfish. Nice. Might actually be a legal red. Gonna be borderline. Beautiful fish. Look at the spots on him. One, two, three, four. Four spots on each side. Pretty, pretty fish. I was hoping for a trout, but I'll definitely take this red. Let's see, I think he's a little bit undersized though. We're gonna have to let him go. Yeah, he's 15 inches. He's gonna be swimming free again, but I'm gonna put a tag in his back. All right, this guy's got a tag in him now. Hopefully somebody catches him and reports the capture. And we'll see how far he travels. All right, now catching a fish on your first cast is bad luck. We'll see if it curses the rest of the day. I kind of believe you make your own luck. There he is. Little? Joel's got one, but it's a guppy. But it is a trout, so that's a good thing to see. Whoo, boy, is it little. <laughs> Probably about a 10 inch fish. Oh, boy, was that a good hit. All right, that's a better trout. Nice. Yes, indeed. All right. That's what I like to see. That redfish was fun, no doubt about it. But man, I love getting in these. Nice trout, good keeper, speckled trout. It's about a 14 inch fish. Fun to fight, delicious to eat. Man, glad to see you, buddy. Oh, that's very, very good to see. Very happy to catch a trout here. Joel caught that throwback and that's one keeper. But I promise you, it's not the only one here. We've been plagued by low water and west winds this spring. Oh, Joel's hooked up, I think. That's a bad sign. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Nice. Oh, got lucky. So as I was saying, we've been plagued by west winds this spring. It's been very unusual. It's been almost like late winter. Really cool, really nice weather, but not great fishing weather. Well, the tide has turned when it comes to the weather. Today we got an east wind, and the forecast for this whole week is east winds, and that's pushing that. Oh, it's pushing that water back into this marsh. It's really low right now, but it's flying in, coming in really, really quickly. And this time of year, I prefer a rising tide when I'm targeting yeah, speckled is. trout. Oh, Joel's got another one. It's not a big fish, but it's definitely a keeper. Look at him surfing on in. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, if you've watched any of the previous videos when Joel and I have targeted speckled trout, it's always a big deal to see if we can find the clicker. 
My guess is it'll be a struggle again today. So we're gonna make an agreement now, right, Joel? Next keeper fish has to find the clicker. We'll just say your fish. The next fish you catch. No, we're not saying that. Next keeper fish has to find the clicker. Joel would rather not catch a fish than find the clicker. Now the limit on speckled trout in Louisiana is 25 per person. Very liberal limits. But we've got tons and tons of fish here. Oh, Joel is killing me. Joel is absolutely killing me. That's a good trout. That's a pretty trout. That's a B-roll trout. Sorry, buddy. There's a fish. There's a fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a trout. It's a good trout. Oh, he's barely hooked. Hope we get him in the boat because he is barely hooked. That's a good trout. That's what you want. That's why you make the drive to Delacroix. Oh, good solid fish. Get in the box. Dude! Dude. Yeah. Flew right by my head. There he is. All right. Got a hook in one. Feels like a decent fish. Might actually be a red. He has not come up at all. No, now he's come up. There we go. There we go. All right, come on up, dude. Oh, that's a good trout. That is a really good trout. All right. That's a nice fish. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Yeah. Outside the mouth. Yeah, you're right. Oh, oh double. Double. Oh, yeah. That Mine's substantially bigger, but we'll compete for Joel's when it's time to eat them. Dude, I got drilled. <laughs> I got drilled. Oh. You want me to catch it for you? Yeah. Let me know. Let me know if you want me to go in there and catch it for you. I'll tell you what, I'll just set the hook and you can reel it in. Yeah. I mean, I hate for you to miss out on that fish. Oh! oh that's, a that's a good trout. That's a pretty fish. All right. Uh -huh. Look at him going crazy. One time, two. Nice. All right. That's what I like to see. Right, he actually ate it. Yeah, he did eat it. All right, while Joel's putting his fish away, yeah, I'm going I'm I'm to check his hole. <laughs> He's gotten like five bites in a row. <laughs> right there. Oh. You got him? Oh no. Oh, that's a big bass. Oh, Holy is it? Cow, dude, it's huge. That's a huge bass. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, goodness. That is a cow. That's a pig. You want me to get the net? Oh, whoa. No, dude, no way. That's a big bass. That is a big bass. Look at that guy. Look at him. That's a pig. Yeah. <laughs> For these marshes, that is a big bass. I mean, it's probably a three pound fish. They don't get long, but man, they get stocky. So much bait for those fish to eat in these marshes. Why you treat me that way, speckled trout? He was hooked up for a second. Oh, finally got a hook in one. Boy, it's a guppy. It is a guppy. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, he's not gonna keep. He'll keep next year. <laughs> he grows for a year. I'm like measuring him. Finally got a good hook in that one. See you, buddy. Joel, how glad are you that I fathered you here in South Louisiana? Very, very, very. And it feels even better being done with high school. Oh, it feels better having this trout on the end of my line. Look at him tail walking. Man, I love these fish. I love them. I love them. Most beautiful sight on planet Earth. Speckled trout coming to the boat in the springtime when the waters are nice and warm. 
the winter they're just dish rags but this time of year as you can tell <laughs> they get furious so much fun nothing like feeling that tap setting the hook and seeing that trout rise to the surface man i love these guys and they're basically just they're two swimming fillets that's what they are that joel's hooked up Oh, oh, oh no! Thanks to the Bill Dance hook set, he <laughs> lost that one. Oh man! Bait got twisted on there. <laughs> there was no hook gap at all. No, oh, really. Yeah. So it wasn't the. Uh, it wasn't the, it wasn't the 400 foot pounds of <laughs> hook set force. He's a smaller fish, but look at him tail walking. Look at that. Look at that. Oh yeah. In the boat. 14 inch fish. Oh, Joel's hooked up. I think he is for now. Oh, another bass. Another bass. Also a big fish. Come on, dude. Let's see what we got here. Let's see how big he is. Oh, he's not that big. Not nearly as big as the last one. But still a good solid fish. He'll eat. Pound and a half at least. No. Oh, you were robbed. No, I didn't. Oh, you broke? I broke. You broke off. No. Oh, goodness. No. That could have been the third bass of the day. Look. Oh. How did you break off? What are you fishing? The eight pound test? Sewing thread? I should have retired. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Probably the last bite you're gonna get today too, and you blew it. All right, I'm catching a few fish over here, but Joel's getting bit every single cast. So while he's retying, while he's retying, <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can get one of them. Maybe I'll catch one with a cheek head in its mouth. You just tried to raise my hole. Yeah, and I failed. I failed miserably. Yeah, that's rookie. Yeah, if it's like a 38 inch redfish, it's like, okay, well, I broke off. And now he went and told his friends, you probably get another bite. You you cursed the hole. I screwed up. He went and told all his buddies, look at this thing in my lips. These baits are not real. Finally, finally, he hit me on the way down. As soon as I engaged, he was on. He's not big, though. He is not big, but he might make the team. He hasn't come up at all. No, it's a good trout. I tell you what, that's not a bad fish. He's weak. He is weak. I bet all your buddies made fun of you, huh? How could you have fought that poorly when you're 15, 15 inches? Oh yeah, just uh, block me there, buddy. No problem. I'll go back over here. I'll catch one right here. I don't care. Oh, look at him. Oh, exploded like a tarpon. Oh, man, that's a big fish. Look at that trout. I tried my best to lose him, hitting him on the side of the boat. Wow, look at this fish. That is a very, very good speckled trout. Wow, look at him. Look how fat that fish is. And he was powerful, let me tell you. I mean, that fish is probably, he's probably 17, 18 inches. Not like he's a gorilla, but inside in these marshes, here at the beginning of May, he is 18 and a half. Really, really pretty good fish. Right next to the boat. What is that? Oh, nice, nice trout. Hey, he hit you right onto the boat, wow. huh? Pretty fish. Good eater. Dude. See, now Joel and I were debating leaving this particular area because the fish really shut off. But that happens a lot. You never know if they're going to turn back on or not. These fortunately did. They've turned back on. It's just weird. You never know if it's new fish, the same fish, or what. But man, they are on again, that's for sure. This is a gorilla. He's fighting like one anyway. He is not happy. Oh, look at this fish. He's not that big, but man, he was unhappy. 
Looks like yours. Furious! Oh, that one didn't get off. All I need to do is come raid your hole. Yeah, he's a baby though. I don't think he's gonna make it. He is a baby. <laughs> he's not even fighting. <laughs> Man, congratulations. Wow. <laughs> it's a big what day a for you, buddy. <laughs> That one got the hook. Such a good hit. Such a good hit. Yeah, he's got it deep. Look how deep this fish has the bait. All right. Yeah, you can shake now, boy. You're already in the boat. Yeah, that's what you like to see. They got it nice and deep like that. Get in the box. All right, we're sitting here fishing. There's an absolutely monstrous alligator right around that bend. I'm gonna show it to you. Good night, this thing is massive. Hopefully you can see it through that grass and tell how big it is. It is a giant. I see lots of alligators out here in the marsh. There aren't too many of them that impress me. This one impresses me. That thing's every bit of 12 feet, no doubt, maybe even bigger. He is massive. Oh, there you go. What, you got a red? If that's a trout, we're heading in. If that's a trout, we're heading in a wave. We're heading into the scales, boys. I think it's a big trout. I really do. I might be sadly mistaken, but maybe I'm fishing a I'm curious. I'm, oh, I I'm miss mine. He's a red. He's got to be a red. Oh, he's coming in easily now, but he's never come up. Let's see what this is. I'm very curious. He better not. Oh, it's a big trout! Oh. Big trout! We have no net. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a swing. Way nice! Down. Look at this trout. Look at this speckled trout. Wow! Look at this fish. You can catch some really beautiful fish inside in the marsh this time of year. This is a gorilla. It's a very heavy fish, too. I don't know if you can tell on camera how big this fish is. It's really nice for inside. I don't ever keep fish this size, so I'm going to tag him and let him go. Thank you.